The Ferrari F40 was the greatest car of its time. It could reach 197 miles per hour, 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds, and had so much power that new tires had to be developed just to handle it. But was it aerodynamic? To find out, we did an aerodynamic simulation of it. In the rear, we get a sizable wake and surprisingly, it is angled down, which indicates positive lift production. The reason that's so surprising is that at higher speeds, which this car was capable of, that lift will cause stability problems. But while there is definitely positive lift being produced, the lift coefficient comes in at only 0.02, which shows that the aerodynamicist tried really hard to get this negative. Over the top, the flow stays attached very nicely as well on the underbody. The diffuser leaves a little to be desired because it doesn't do a great job shooting the flow up, which would have counteracted the lift produced by the curved roof. The rear wing performs quite well with little wake forming, and that is because the flow over the roof stays attached so well, so the wing sees very clean flow. The flow is angled down in front of the front wheels, which helps reduce drag. At this point on the diffuser, the flow isn't very well behaved, and that is probably because the wake of the rear wheels don't provide clean flow for the diffuser to operate well. Looking from the top, the wake gets sucked in tightly quite quickly, which is great for reducing drag, and there isn't too much flow separation over the rest of the car, which is good designing. But there are huge vortices coming off the front wheels, and that is due to the lack of front wheel spoilers, which didn't exist at the time. Apart from that, the rest of the car does a great job in reducing how much vorticity is being created, and only vortices in the wake occur, which is normal. The drag coefficient is 0.35, which is really good for a supercar. Peace out, amigos.